Who are you today? Hmm. <laughs> I'm a survivor. I don't think I've said that out loud. It was late, late 2014, early 2015 that I met my former partner. We were introduced by family members from either side. It started off very on the surface, like very much a love story. We had a lot of fun, um, so many similarities. Um, he didn't live here. He actually lived in the States. So it was a lot of like back and forth visiting, which was great too. In the beginning, it was psychological and emotional. So I would say things like, like we'd get into a huge argument and then I'd just be like, it's too much for me. I, I don't want to be in the relationship anymore. And it would literally call my phone like a hundred times in a row. 100, to, to dial somebody's number 100 times in a row is ridiculous. Over and over and over and over and over again. And I'd start to feel like, oh my God, like I'm such a monster, this poor guy, like he wants to work it out, this and that, whatever. So the emotional and the psychological was common. And that was like maybe like for the first two years. And so it didn't really feel like what I'd term as abuse. When he actually came here, moved here, that's when the physical started. And that's when I started to see like, this is crazy. I realized that it was, uh, it was going to, it was either going to be me or him in the sense that if I didn't leave, I wouldn't be around. It was like year three that when the physical started, just, you know, shoving and stuff like that. And I, and I definitely don't want to come across as so victimized that I never defended myself, I would shove right back. Like, and I'm in shock, like somebody you love, like, put it, like putting your, their hands on you, like, what are you doing, right? But then very quickly, it progressed into things like being choked against a wall. There was even a point where he tackled me, like a football player, and he's a big guy. And I would never un wish on my worst enemy the feeling of somebody's hands around your neck and looking at somebody who has proclaimed that they love you, but is literally jeopardizing your life. I never had real sincere thoughts of truly leaving until the physical abuse began, because that's when it was, it was my wake up call. Yeah, it was my wake up call. It was an entire turning point in my life. 2019 <laughs> was the year that broke me but it was also the year that blessed me with a strength that I earned. I'm grateful to say I'm in, a, I'm in a great space right now. Very grateful to say that because some women will never get to say that. It's a difference between literal life and death. And I would advise women to choose life. Do whatever you need to do to survive. Yeah, and be strong. But don't stay, don't stay.